bottles of punch up this and then they'll be happy to do but it is free in the morning right happiness is a choice Snug as a bug on a drug. I have no idea what the skins are going to Swear for the Stalor. It's time. And here we go. Let's continue this. What have you been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a piñata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a mug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! Uh -huh. The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. Look after you, you know that. Now that I recall, you were a rubbish goalkeeper at school, too, weren't you? How does she know? Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the pinata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Clock 
Clyde Birthwhistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? behind in our work now that you mention it. Odd. I never noticed that. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the candy comes out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it! Give it a whack! <laughs> you are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. <laughs> Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Jesus, Connor. These loading screens aren't really helpful when the whole load takes ages. Could have been a bit faster. Good Christ! I can't believe I'm still alive. More or less. Ow! Feels like I lost an argument with a train. What's going on today? I can't go back. I've got to get out of here. The circus is coming to town. <laughs> I'm sorry, I fooled you. It's just going to be a regular, wonderful, ordinary day. But of course, we. Okay. 
Blimey. It's Mrs. Stokes. Can I just borrow this? Hmm. This is jammed. I'll need something to pry it open. I seem to have done a lovely job of breaking this door. I suppose I won't be getting out that way. On earth do you think you're doing? Are you where you should be? You doing what you should be doing? Of course you are. Let's face it. There's nowhere we'd rather be and nothing we'd rather be doing than living our lives here and now in Wellington Wells, eh? We're also fortunate to be proud Englishmen and women. Because no matter what you through, we're all alive and happy, and so many others are not. I just want you to meditate on that essential fact of our existence. This is Uncle Jack saying, it's easy to smile and you so much to be thankful for. But just because it's easy, that it's not true. Looks like she's gone off her rocker. I should have gone with him. Grind the used 
barley into flour and the kind of hand mill that you used to use for coffee beans. Now, if you've already sold your hand mill, barley can be pounded into flour with an ordinary mortar. Now, of course, that would use and require a lot more elbow grease, hmm? like this. It'll really build up those muscles. Now, once you've got your barley flour, you just jumble, mix it in with bean flour. It's strange how everyone looks the same. I wonder if that's just a side effect that's stuck. It's been a hard day's night, that was. <laughs> Lovely church. Lovely church today. Very funny indeed. <laughs> and here's one from, not that one, no, this one here, from Clyde Pritchard of Slaybrook Road. <laughs> Mr. Pritchard, you have those today. <laughs> Question How is a puppy? I wonder if my parents would be proud of me. Answer. Or would they be terribly if, stern? Eventually they'll both stop whining. <laughs> oh, is that? Quite a character, aren't you? <laughs> oh. You know, I, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I say, I don't miss anything at all. I've got it all right here. Ah. <laughs> you know, I, I don't miss anything at all. 
see what else we've got. Something now, something from our dear friend and faithful contributor, Mr. Persky Blackwell. Um, yeah, as you can tell from, um, as you can tell from today, Mr. Blatchank isn't actually a vegan Englishman. He's an Afrikaner from South Africa. But he's doing his patriotic best to fit in. <laughs> so what do you have for us today, Mr. Blatchank? Question. How is a dower like an apple? Answer. They both look good hanging from a tree. So, we meet again. We are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men. Sod off, you! It's easy. Y you take the goats across first. Why do you take the vanilla? Please don't make a fuss. do when the memories come back. Except for the night, we would never know the stars.
The fog seems smokier. What do you suppose he's talking about now? Bugger off! Ah, uh, but that was in another country. Yes, I bet it's English victories. I really miss his history stories. Sometimes I wish I knew you well, then I could speak my mind and tell you. Maybe you'd understand. I miss his bedtime story. Didn't you live down the lane? What do you suppose he's talking about now? Oh, get some sleep, Arthur. You're gonna... Are we mad? Or is it the world? What do you suppose he's talking about now? <laughs> Scrounging bastard! <laughs> Scrounging bastard. Can't we work something out? No? Again. I bet it's... Ah.
it up there. Thanks for watching if you watched. I do have a portrait of it.